Hi everyone, this is Simon from Android Spin. Another quick look, this time at the Barnes & Noble Nook Color. This is actually one of the, probably the coolest <laughs> tablets I've had my, uh, my hands on. It's not designed to be an Android tablet. It's a Nook ebook reader. But uh, I've modified it, I've hacked it. And it's got full access to the Android market and all the applications you would ever need. So I'm not going to go into a full review of the Nook functions itself, but uh, basically uh, the device has your volume controls on the side, your power button on this side, on the back here under a magnetic cover is your SD card slot. On the top we have a headphone jack. Um, on the front we have a very nice 7 inch LCD screen. Um, the quality is really, really nice. Uh, if you can see it on the video, I don't know whether the video gives it justice or not. The Nook itself has three home screens. The little icon you can see at the side here is the soft keys modification that comes with hacking the tablet. That gives you access to the regular Android keys, such as the home, menu, back. Because uh, as you can see, they don't come as default on the Nook. Now the Nook has an area called Extras which is just down here. So in the Extras is where you would find the general Extras that come with the Nook color. But since I have now modified this tablet we have Email, Gmail, Market, uh, Super User, talk, YouTube, you know, all the regular Android accessories. So I can get to anything I want. I can go into the Android market, full access to the Android market. You can see what I've downloaded so far. A couple of uh, applications just to test out the tablet. Um, so if you watch, when I touch that, you'll see we get a pop-up down here. This pop-up gives you the back button, the home button, the menu button, and the search button. Just like a regular Android device. So I can hit back, back, takes you back to the home screen. And then the X on the end of it lets you close it out. So again, go back into the extras. I've installed the Dolphin Browser HD because the standard browser that comes with the Nook does not support multi-touch. So uh, a bit of a pain to do. Uh, what we can do is if I go up here and let's go have a look at our good old faithful androidspin.com and see what happens. And there we have Android Spin. So we're loaded for multi-touch. Zoom in, zoom out, just like you can on a regular Android device, and as I said, really, really nice and clear and responsive. So there's the browser. Takes it out of the browser. Now, how good is this as a regular Android tablet? Well, you guys know I already like to install the good old Angry Words. So, let's see what that's like on this display. I can honestly say it's awesome um, and we're quite lucky really that I got my hands on this because my wife keeps stealing it all the time as it is her tablet anyway. So here's Angry Birds, trick or treat, seasons, greetings, you can see how responsive everything is and not to be able to tell because of the video camera unless you can let me bring it up closer. The clarity is awesome. It's smooth, it's responsive, it's multi-touch. So, $250 for this Nook Color e-reader, which is now an Android tablet. So again, let's bring up the soft keys, back, back, back. So there you have it. Routing is incredibly simple. 
Um, you don't get GPS. You do have um, orientation, Wi-Fi, no 3G in this version. I'm sure they'll probably end up coming out with a, uh, a 3G version. Um, you've got your general device settings. A lot of the Android stuff is there. It's just been skinned by Barnes & Noble. Some of it looks the same, some of it doesn't. Wi-Fi connection strength is excellent. It seems uh, almost better than my Nexus One. Uh, it comes with a multi-touch keyboard. Uh, let's see if I can do a search. So there we can see multi-touch. Obviously I'm just typing junk. That's searching the internals of the Nook color. In other words, it's searching the ebooks, um, anything that's on the device. I don't think it's actually doing a web search, but it works great. If you have $250, you want a e-reader and an Android tablet that you can carry around with you that's multi-touch, that's fast, that's responsive, and that has a really great build quality. I'd love to know who they got to actually build this. The Nut Color is an excellent device. If you want my recommendation, go out and buy one. I have not seen anything come close to this device for $250. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.